Hello everybody and welcome to Life of Paul. Now I've got a very tiny little mini challenge and mainly because I saw something I'd never noticed. How on earth I'd never noticed this before. So there's two convenience stores about five minutes walk away from each other and I've been into both of them and brought cards in the past and I'm doing a little challenge between them see which one's better. There's not many cards so I've got five of the Red Hot 7s, five of the Match 3s, that's 15 quid from one of them and same again from the other one so 15 quid from the other. so it's very pound in total so it's, you know it's quite a lot of cards but 15 pound from each shop now the reason i decided to do this little mini challenge is uh, first of all they don't have as many um cards to choose from you know they've got the little mini ones where you've only got a few and most of the slots were empty anyway but the reason i'm doing it is these come from bill's convenience store and these come from joe's convenience store Hmm, do you think they're related or just <laughs> copying each other or that's just a brand and you just put your name at the front? It's like a, a chain. I, I've never noticed it. And now that I've seen it, it just makes me laugh. They're about five minutes away. I might ask next time I'm in there, but if they're bitter rivals, hmm, it might not go down well. But <laughs> it did make me laugh. It really did make me laugh. So let's see who's better, Bill or Joe. <laughs> <laughs> in, the, in the immortal words of Harry Hill, there's only one way to find out. Fight! So we've got bees on these ones, just to remind us who's who. And look, low numbers. So triple zero, one, two, where is he? Three and four. So all the end of a strip. Hopefully my theory works. It does work sometimes. Right, looking for lucky fingers on triple zero. Oh. Do you know what? Half expected it. And we got water instead. Right, here we go. Looking for a win. So there's um, two red sevens. Ends in a nine. So no win there. Right, here we go again. Thermometer. To see how hot it is. Oh, we got a winner. Got a winner. Winner, winner. Let's see what I'm gonna have for my dinner. Winner, winner. Now, let's hope it's not just a one win. Let's hope these are all winners. So, two red sevens, four, two black sevens, a nine. There's the win. And a five. Can we get one more? No. Go on. £70,000, please. Four quid. Mind you, Bill, you're on. You're up and running. Here we go. Back to that winner, please. So my number one fan. <laughs> God. Go to bed, Paul. <laughs> so two black sevens and a one. No, we got a we got a dud. A dudly dudly do nothing. And sunshine. Come on, Bill, give us another win. So two black sevens ends in a five. So another dud. Last chance. Come on. Glass of water or water. Oh, 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 two red sevens and a six. So, nothing doing there. Now, let's do the match um, free triplets I got from that shop. Here they are five of these, starting with 147, and you know the deal. Ooh. Oh, in case anybody's wondering, yes, there is going to be um, more of the challenge, another challenge coming up. So using different shops to the ones I used last time. So oh, I know quite a few of you commented asking for me to do it again. So it is on its way, but I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist this one. <laughs> See those two shops, same name. Never noticed it. Been in both of them quite a few times, never noticed it. So we're looking for three, exactly the same amount. So another two would give us a win. Ah, I thought we had it there. No, so a dirt. Start off with a dirt. 
These have been kind to me, these cards. Let's see if they carry on being kind. Oh. Oh, a £60 win would have been nice. Two sixties, two sixes. No. No win there. Come on. We've only got four quid so far from Bill. Uh, when you see the pound, you sort of go, yeah, and here it comes. Pound win. There it is. The one pound win. One, one, one. Unless we triple it. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Back to that winner, please. 100 quid be nice. Actually, it'd be more than nice, wouldn't it? Let's, let's give it its due. A hundred pound win on a pound card would, oh, we had it there, would be spectacular. 30, 30, oh no, no, so dud. Right, and the last one. Woo, big numbers. A one and a two. Another two. Come on, give me two pound then. Yay! So two, 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 two pound win. Ah, and it's a single, so not doubled up. Yeah, didn't, didn't do too bad. Didn't do great, didn't do bad. Let's, let's see how Joe let's... does. So 10 pound of red hot sevens, five of them. Starting with card 45. Come on. You don't have to do too, too uh, much. You don't have to do too much. <laughs> you don't have to do much to, uh, to beat Bill. Now I can guarantee you've never seen a video between Bill and Joe. How bizarre. How bizarre, I never noticed it as well. Two black sevens and a five, so that's a dud. Come on, up the game. Lucky fingers, gold bars. Two red sevens ends in an eight. So, no, never did. Steamy windows. Damn. Damn and blast. Two black sevens ends in a one. What a surprise. Come on, we had one win on these from Bills, so come on. Pot of gold. Ooh, in with a chance. Nope. <laughs> Spoke to Swan. So two red sevens. Oh, there it is. Ends in an eight. Last chance for a win. Money bag. Ah, that pesky two at the end. Two red sevens. Ends in a one. All of them duds. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. So it's all down to the um, match free triplers. And here they are in all their blackness. I don't hold out a lot of hope on these. 160 is the first one. But you never know. You never know. You never know. Ooh, two one pounds. Could it be? No. <laughs> nope. God, Joe, you really are not um, paying out. Oh, God, that's really bent, this card. Hard to scratch it off. So just a right old royal mix there. Different amounts. Right, what else we got? Oh, I thought I had a £10 win there. But it was a £20... Ooh, he did it to me again. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I kept thinking I was getting a tanner. Nope. Not to be... No, another dud. We've only got one left. Blimey, O'Reilly. So it might be an absolute dud session from, from Joe's. Go on, even a quid. Come on, give us something. Ah. 
Wow. <laughs> that was pants, wasn't it? So there's no contest, really. Let's spin that camera. So that was really disappointing. All the cards from Joe's were duds. All of them. All £15 worth. And from Bill's, they didn't do that well. We had a £4 win. We had a £1 win, so that's uh, £5. And then a £2 win, so that's 7 quid. <laughs> Ouch. So this, the minuscule £7 beat the uh, the dud. So remember, it's £30 in total as well. So £7 back. Oh, £23 down. Do you know what? I always say the supermarkets have the bigger wins. And uh, these two convenience stores just showed that. Ouch. Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. Although, let's be honest, it was always going to be a disaster, wasn't it? Um, when you buy cards on a silly premise as pitting two similar name shops against each other here yeah. i i had fun i did enjoy it though i did enjoy it and it, it did make me chuckle so uh it was worth it it was worth it if something makes you chuckle it was worth it so i hope it made you chuckle as well and i really hope you enjoyed that video if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the other free videos and competitions and live streams that are coming up and like i said there is going to be some bigger ones so remember i did like the supermarkets asda's versus sainsbury's and the like i'm going to be doing that again but with different stores so uh it's it's been a lot of two pound and one pound um videos recently but that's because you know i feel like i neglected them but we are returning back to the five pound cards the big e's soon so uh yeah look forward to that and i look forward to seeing you in those videos take care everybody look after yourself for those that you love cheerio now bye